Hey everyone, it's Vedicus here. Today we're going to do a video that's a little bit less sexy, but kind of important as well. We are going to do a little bit of tidying up to make our project a little bit more manageable and to make things easier for the future. Previous episode, we were left with a project that looked a little something like this. And as you can see, this is really starting to grow into quite a thing and this is only with a few controls. You can imagine if you start to expand this, you will get even more controls, even more nodes, and this will become very, very cluttered. You can actually clean it up quite a bit. And if you go down, this is uh, kind of the more minimalist version of everything that's going on up here. So as you can see, it's quite a few less nodes, quite a bit more readable, also a quite a bit easier to expand upon. So in order to turn this into this, all we really need to know about is uh, selects, mergers, and channels. And so far we haven't really used channels in a very efficient way because here we just selected every channel by itself. We did a uh, modulation of that channel, then sent it to a bind and then sent it to wherever we need it. What we're going to do now is we are going to group things together and make it a little bit easier to work with. If you want to be even more precise, you should actually name these as well, because this is a pretty bad name. So let's call this 0 to 1 while we're on it. You can just click in the text thing to change it. We have our buttons. We can call this 0 to 1 math, and we can call this 0 to so basically what we are going to do is we are going to use channels in a touch designer this is quite a powerful feature as you can see every single uh, little box can hold multiple signals at the same time so this is still the same these are our six inputs for the midi controllers if i move a control you will see the numbers change up there so that's one three five that's six. And we still have our two buttons here. That's all still the same, but instead of sending it to select for every single channel, we are going to group them together. So we know we have a time control and the time control works on a zero to one scale. So in here, we only select the zero to one scale. So that's only slider one. And while we're at it, we're going to say rename slider one to time. Then we are going to look at all the values which can go from zero to 100. That's our sample rate, our feedback, our uh, diffusion, our wow and flutter, and our mix. Those are all values that can go from zero to 100. So in here we select the channels S2, S3, S4, F5, and S6. And we can actually rename all of these as well by just typing their names and then typing the new name. Now you can't use spaces in these names, but you can uh, like camel case or use underscores. I would suggest keeping them rather short though, just for readability. Once we have those channels, which go from zero to 100 selected, we go to the math and we set the range from zero to 100 and that will, uh, do a 0 to 100 conversion for every single channel in this little module. It goes from uh, 0.7 to 70 and 0 0.55 to 55 and from 1 to 100. For the buttons, we do basically the same. We select the buttons. Let's move it up. Button 1 and button 2. And we rename them to bypass and output. We then feed those into a count. And this will count per channel. So if I press the first button, you will see the first one count. Go back to zero. And it works for the second as well. Now we basically have three little modules with values. And we can merge them back together into one. So all this merge job does is it takes the channels from all the different modules and merges them into one module with all the channels. And then we can go to a single bind. 
And if we click the little plus icon in the bottom, you can actually select any individual channel. If we want to bind the rate, it's a lot easier now because we can actually read this is the rate. You can just drag and drop that into a rate, job bind. That's it. And the same goes for, uh, for instance, feedback. You can just drag and drop it to where you need it. It's a lot easier to uh, follow the flow like this because you can just see what it is bound to. This way we can keep our project nice and tidy. And especially once we start to expand upon our project, this is a very powerful feature to keep everything together instead of creating these giant uh, webs of nodes uh, that become highly unreadable. So a bit of a short video, not a very exciting video, but a very important video is from now on, uh, we will be using this structure to move on so we can keep things readable. Uh, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below and I will see you in the next one.